here with volleyball coach Mike Lester. Coach, we were just talking off camera, big weekend this weekend. But before we talk about the Platteville tournament, let's talk a little about Wednesday's match against St. Olaf. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you're coming off a big win against Concordia. 3-2 last Saturday, came out a little flat on Wednesday, losing to uh, St. Olaf 3-0. Yeah, you know, it, it's like we talk all the time, you know, this conference is so tough from top to bottom that uh, you have to come out with energy and you have to play at, at your best every single match that you that you play in our league, especially when you go on the road. And, you know, going to St. Olaf isn't the easiest p place to play. Um, and, you know, they, they came out pretty hard against us, got up on a 7-0 on a to start the first, first set. Um, we fought our way back in that set, but but really just didn't quite play with the energy we had this weekend. You know, and it, it forces you as a coach to make some adjustments that maybe you don't want to that early in a match. And, uh, you know, talk a little bit about some of the people that uh, that maybe stepped up a little bit uh, despite the loss. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, Donnie. I think one of the things that we're, we're trying to do with our team a little bit is to, you know, they've got to learn to play through some of those things. So, you know, we really didn't panic very much early. We just kind of let the kids keep playing and, and, and work their way through. And they did a good job of that. Uh, we just couldn't get over that hump, you know. Um, it was good to get Jenna Sullivan back into the match. You know, she hasn't played in a, a few matches, and um, and that's that's due to the play of Megan and, and Carissa. They've played very well lately, and, you know, Megan struggled a little bit last night, but but that gives us an opportunity to get Jenna in. So, um, you know, from that perspective, it's, it's nice to be able to see uh, that our bench players are going to come in and do a good job as well. Big weekend this weekend at Platteville. You've got four very tough matches. Not that any match isn't tough, right. but you're looking at Cole and Platteville and Lacrosse and Dubuque. Those are four very talented teams, especially starting out with Cole, your first match, a nine-match winning streak heading into Friday night. Yeah, you know, Coe's, Coe's coming off a really great season last year. You know, I think where they were, you know, had about 30 wins last season, and, and, and they're, they've kind of picked right up where they left off last year. Um, so that's going to be a tough opener for us. But, you know, the, the host school, Platteville, coming off an NCAA tournament bid last year. Um, so they're going to be very good. We've already played lacrosse. Um, and then Dubuque is, is uh, doing very well in the Iowa Conference right now. So it's going to be a good weekend. It's going to be nice to step out of conference play a little bit, um, but uh, it's still going to be just as challenging. You know, we talk a lot about these, the importance of the non-conference matches. You look at this weekend, then you go into conference play on Wednesday, but then you have another tournament next yeah. weekend. How do you approach this, this seven-day period where you've got eight non-conference matches sandwiched around uh, the one conference match. Yeah, it's a little unique to volleyball, I think, uh, in terms of Division Three athletics where, you know, right in the middle of your conference season you have, you know, a third of your season being played in, in two weekends in those eight, eight non-conference matches. So that's a little bit unique. Um, but, you know, our, our goal during these non-conference matches is to make sure that we're preparing, we're playing better, we're improving, so that when we're ready to play that conference match next Wednesday, that's, that's definitely our major focus. UW-Platteville tournament this weekend. You kick off at 6 o'clock on Friday against Cole. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, Tommy.